welcome back to the Surge 2 full walkthrough covering all DLC items and alternate boss kills. And we're continuing on from the last episode and we're here in the underground right at the medbay. We took the time to upgrade the MG Strigal, the uh, Wave of Tomorrow, and AID Type 11 Overseer. So the guys down in the toxic swamp area down here don't take extra damage from fire, so I kind of want, or from electricity, so I kind of wanted, kind of wanted to test out the fire damage weapon and see how it performs. Uh, and I've also prepared this one because it is actually pretty useful against the Delver Echo. So we'll proceed on, clear our way through, uh, get some loot along the way. We're just trying to escape right now. Oh, I lost my target. So you can see against these guys, fire doesn't do a whole lot to them. Um, it does stack really quickly, like one rotation of the R2, R1, R1 combo. Uh, but against these guys, I'm guessing it might be pretty effective. So let's see what we want to get here. I'm going to do a leg first, I think. So that basically just keeps him staggered. Uh, but he did get a hit in to knock me back, but he didn't last very long. So that's the Link Gear, uh, Link Gear um, schematic, Link Gear. So it gives you an attack speed buff, basically, and it also makes you more evasive. But there's not a whole lot of defensive ability on this, and it, the attack speed bonus isn't all that great. So it can stack them, the attack multiple times, but it's more of a farming set, if anything. It's not one that you'd use against the boss. Um, and we're going to follow this tag here. Grab the cache of advance, or cache, however you want to pronounce it, of advanced tech. Such a pass passionate seeker, speaker, uh, Matriarch Celestis. Man, I can't speak at all tonight. Um, <clears throat> this guy, I'm going to go for the headpiece, I think. And do be careful because, as you can see, they can do quite a bit of damage um, and they will swarm you. Now, I've also got a revenge enemy here, um, so I'm going to be a little bit careful these guys and in fact with four of them out there I think it's time to retreat I don't want to get you guys killed or get myself killed so you get swarmed uh, be careful of that I'm gonna go for the right arm on this guy next and you can basically now that they're standing up um, pull them back generally not a good idea to rush in like that down here because they will take you out those electricity attacks can stun you so we've got the lynx arm gear we should get the weapon now too and the headgear um, so now all we need is body and the Volatile Spectre, which is an electricity damage, and it has high enough electricity that you could potentially use it as your electricity weapon um, with single rigged, but single rigged is so slow that unless you kind of boost the electricity damage somehow, then it's not going to be all that worthwhile. Oh, and one other thing that I should mention is I am uh, running the Piezo Induction Igniter. Um, I could run something else instead of this, but I thought I'd mess around with it. 
we also, for chopping off the head, get the direction deflection auto healer. So whenever you directionally block an attack, you get a little bit of health back. So that one has body. So we'll go body. You can see the fire damage is ticking away at him. And it is doing a reasonable amount of damage. That's full link set uh, right there. But I just don't find fire to be all that great because it's kind of unpredictable. Unless you're right on top of the executes, then a lot of times you can miss them with, with fire. Um, electricity isn't going to do much against these guys, so I'm going to swap over to the AD Type 11. And I think I'll get that arm. Now you could farm these guys um, for MK6 upgrades to the rest of your armor. Probably not going to mess around and do it because we're going to, once we get outside, we can come back into the underground. Well, after we get outside and work our way back through um, downtown Jericho, then we'll be able to come in here and farm to upgrade to MK9. So I don't want to do too much farming down here, um, even though it'd be helpful to upgrade my gear a little bit. It's sort of not worth it uh, because we're going to be able to farm and gear up much faster when we can do the MK9 guys. Come around the corner here, you get the anti-toxic array, which boosts your poison resistance. This guy is a DLC, has a DLC weapon, so I'm going to try and get that. There we go. The MG Jackknife. So that is the other version of the MG Jackknife Pro, which we got much earlier on in the, in the game. Um, but it is a DLC weapon, so if you wanted to know where to get it, that's where you get it. For all you completions out there. Now the direction that we really want to go is off over there where you can see um, Athena's echo. But instead of going that way, and we don't want to go out here either, instead of going that way, we're going to come around here and we're going to try not to get swarmed uh, by the two guys that are sleeping down below in the water. Hopefully we get them one at a time each. Oh, we got two. Okay. Take this one out quick. Gonna go for his leg too. So you can see the AID, just the stagger on this thing is pretty effective for locking these guys down. Now you want to be careful over here, this is a scanner gate, and that'll alert everything if you walk in between those uh, two pillars there. So just make sure you disable it before you go over and get that loot. Um, and then there should be one more nano beast in this area, so we'll take him out. For moving around to that area which has more nano beasts. And we can't get to this yet. We'll have that shortcut unlocked here in a little bit. But from here, I'm just gonna try and take out the uh, little ones that I can see. Gotta find that one. There he is. And you can see that guy is shooting, but he's not shooting at us. Shooting at the nano beast. So don't worry about it too much if you start seeing 
bullets flying. He's actually an ally. Now for that one up there, <clears throat> might be a little bit tricky to get targeted. Just dodge out of the way when he jumps down and we'll take him out. That's area this area cleared out and we'll grab that cache of advanced cache of advanced sec. And then we'll go back the direction that we're supposed to go, which is to hear this whisper. See, there's an AID tent here. All you have really to get are some Omni cells, and then it's a dead end. But we can come over here to these guys, um, and you'll see quite a few. They're kind of weak. So, this is the Scarab set guy. Um, don't really bother with trying to sever. If you miss it, don't worry too much. If you get it, great. If not, you already have all of this. Um, she, I believe, gives you the reinforced gouger. So if you get the executes, great. If not, don't worry about it. You already have all of this stuff. Now this guy also drops the uh, mangled articulators. So you can sever if you want, but again, you've already got that loot, so we're doing pretty good. Whoa, forgot about that guy, rhino dude here. So if you need rhino, pieces you can get them off of him otherwise take him out um, and keep an eye from this point onwards uh, keep an eye out for the sort of nanite infested blue or purple armored um, limbs and if you sever one of those then you'll get a piece of the chrysalis armor so this guy you can see he's got right arm and left leg so I think I'm gonna go with right arm first uh, because he also may have a weapon. Now, I could go up there and then hang a left, but if I do that, I want to be careful not to drag the guy from the right. So you can see right there, there's another guy just waiting for an ambush. So instead of pulling him from there, what I'll do is I'll pull from down here using my drone. Just gonna hit the the right arm one time, and he should creep around to us. And you can farm MK7 bits off of this guy if you wanted to upgrade to MK7. Again, though, it's not really worth it to do it at this point. Be careful when he does that, he does a little nano burst. So all of the chrysalis armor guys can do that. Um, and you see you got the chrysalis arm, armor set. So killing enemies increases damage for a bit and you can stack it uh, and it also causes you to, to increase nano damage. So if you're going for a nano build, that's your armor set. Now for this guy, um, you'll see he's also got a very interesting weapon. That's actually a DLC weapon. We could go for his right leg to get that, um, but instead I'm going to just stick with getting his right arm severed. R1, R2, R2 should get it. Oh! Unless we do a little bit of overkill. 
no problem. We'll just come over here, open the pathway back to the med bay, and we confirm that guy until we do get the sever. Now, you remember in the last episode I mentioned the piece of loot that would drive you nuts when you're coming through the underground? That's where it would have been sitting over there. And no matter how hard you search, you wouldn't find a way to get over to it. This way down here leads to the Delver Echo. We're not going to do that yet. We'll finish off grabbing the loot and the audio log over here. That's the deflection supercharger, so another good... So this one is actually pretty good. It increases your damage by uh, quite a bit, and it gives you energy back whenever you do uh, deflection. So as you can see, you start stacking some of these uh, deflection auto defender to get your health back and whatnot. It can be a good build. Grab the Omni cells, and then we'll talk to the guy who was just helping us after we go ahead and open up the shortcut. Hello, fellow survivors. <laughs> Doing a bit of research. What? <laughs> Very good. I like your spirit. In fact, your violent urges. <laughs> Might be just what I need. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry. Got the man. Look at us. <laughs> Wallowing in filth without even knowing each other's names. I'm St. Croix. Professor of Kunzo St. Croix, formerly of Creo. Back at Creo, I worked on Gene Bear's team. Did a couple of experiments until the nanites became kind of <laughs> self-aware. Now they are <laughs> taking over the world. Taking over people. Warping them beyond recognition. Turning them into mindless zombies. Zombies! <laughs> That's what we call them where I'm from. Most of my <laughs> former colleagues have been possessed. But I, I alone can save them. I swear to you, friend, I just need their old prototype. <laughs> my old colleagues won't give them up willingly. <laughs> they got the devil inside. The only road to success is to kill the least three and take what's needed. <laughs> you doing well? This will be quite challenging, fellow survivors. You'll need to find my former scientist associates and end their suffering. Cunning. Three of them should survive. Their prototype will be in battle. Uh-huh. So you're not a student of the good book then, huh? I've been a devotee my entire life. The Lord is our master. He is the creator of all life. Without his power, I wouldn't have come as far. Wouldn't have been able to give life to the nanites. Nobody takes me seriously when I talk like this. But you know this one, don't you? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, fellow survivor. I'd love to say it feels weird as well. But alas, I've lost all feeling below my right knee. <laughs> uh huh. Right until the end, fellow survivor. Dr. Barrett was a great mentor. Taught me everything I know. I could take or leave old Gutenberg. But Gene was a real inspiration. Don't believe anything you hear. <laughs> Until our paths cross again. So we'll be able to complete that quest just a little bit later. Um, I'm going to go 
back up to the med bay and farm that weapon one more time. So you can go ahead and um, use your tech scrap and everything like that if you want to. And you can just run through these. You don't need to stay and fight. Just get back over to where um, the good professor is defending us. And then you can cut through here. And we'll try again against this guy. And we can just sit here and farm this guy over and over until we get uh, what we're after. Poor lady, in this case. And I'm doing too much damage again, so I am severing early. Uh, see if that does it. I'm doing R1, R2, or R1, R2, R2, and the second R2 is just taking it out without giving us the sever. So I'll try and do just a little bit less damage. And for that enemy that has the DLC weapon, we can actually use electricity damage to lock her down. Her or him. Try this one more time, you. There we go, got it. And that gives you codename Engelhart. Decent enough weapon. I believe Elise outpaces it, but this does have fire damage. Um, so over time, Elise will do more damage, but you can use this to do single rigged fire damage if you wanted to. It's got great energy gain too, so it's worth considering. If you wanted to do um, an Angel 6 armor set uh, fire build, which I don't particularly want to, so I'm not going to use it. Now we can go ahead and continue farming that enemy for more Chrysalis gear. Um, we could get the whole set if we wanted to, but there are also other enemies outside that give us chrysalis pieces so it's not necessarily to, not necessary to farm here so far we've just got the arm um, i'll double check this guy uh, down here and make sure he doesn't have any chrysalis pieces we've already got the arm so it's just two arms so you can farm those two basically and, and you would have this set uh, pretty quickly and actually let's let's just see what happens if we get one if I get most of the, if I get two pieces of this next time, then I'll farm it quick since it doesn't take long. Then you won't have to worry about it later. Be careful with the nanite piece too; they can knock you off the platforms, which can be problematic when you're back in here higher up. is a pretty short respawn and a run back so and it's a pretty safe fight okay so we've got head body left leg so we'll get left leg this time i'm going to try and drag him back here a little bit more so we get out of that toxic part you can see if Electricity is pretty effective, so we got the leg gear now. We just need body and head. And head, it can be a real pain to get the head. So no body on him, no head. Try one more time and see what we get. And 
there are other guys you're going to be fighting later anyway, so I mean, just don't sweat it too much if you're not getting it. And in fact, either way, this is going to be the last attempt to get this set. But when you do have all of the pieces again, you can farm those guys for the uh, MK7 components if you want. But getting the MK9 components and then just downgrading them is quite a bit faster. Even though there are more of these guys. Alright, so no head, no body. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through and skip that guy. And you can come around the corner here, go down to where the Delver is. And I'm going to swap over, back over to the uh, AID type 11. And there's also a little bit of loot around the corner here. So we'll go grab that. Now this is like phase two of the first Delver fight. So you're going to want to um, focus on doing as much damage as you can, as quickly as you can. So on armored pieces, R1, R2, R2, and on the back legs, uh, R1 and the head, uh, R2, R1, R1. Um, and that combo will let you spin and do quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to target an unarmored body part and go R2, R1, R1, and just keep that rotation going. Um, the other thing that we'll want to do is directionally block as much as possible. Um, so since I am no longer using an an electricity weapon. Instead, I will toss in. Where is it? The physical aggression stabilizer. So hopefully that'll make it a little easier to block. And there is no alternative kill um, for the Delver Echoes, so you just need to take them out. One thing that you can do, however, if you want to get the achievement is you can upgrade your staff either helix of the delver v2.0 or the um, helix of the delver normal version wherever it's hiding there's 2.0 where is helix of the delver why are we missing helix of the delver i bought it ah there it is Okay, or the uh, the Helix of the Delver normal version. Use one of those, and if you take out a Delver Echo with either of those, then you'll get an achievement for doing so. Sort of like if you take out a Gaia statue with the Gaia Lancer um, spear, then you're able to get an achievement for that as well. You can do either of those anytime. So to start this event, you just move over by the chest, then dodge. And I'm going to go, looks like I got a back leg there, so... The move set's basically the same as the um, original Delver, but just a lot faster. You can break the legs if you want. But it's not going to help you too much. So instead, and I've lost the target on the um, lost the target on the back leg. So I'll go for the directional blocks. When he does that, you can either dodge back or you can go ahead and. just hold block. This is the same thing as before. You just want to take these out so he doesn't get healed and then dodge out of the way so you don't take too much damage. Then we'll go back to the direction blocks here. Charge there, just hold block. how you do it. 
So energetic speed intensifier, new implant. When you have more than three batteries, so this actually pairs up reasonably well with the MG Cerberus and the, the armor set that we're using now because we want to have batteries charged up. Uh, that'll give you a speed increase, but the speed increase isn't all that great, so I tend not to slot that. no more loot or anything in here um, I was just showing you back over there is sort of a doorway that you can't break until you get powered up a little bit more so instead we're gonna come over here like we're going into back into the CIT Institute and this guy on the left should have a weapon for us he's also got the headpiece but I'm gonna go for the weapon and that guy creeping up there as well he also uh, has, I believe, a weapon for us. No head and body anyway, so I don't feel too bad if I don't take it. So there's the defragged split cleaver, which you can see it's actually got pretty good uh, high base damage. So it'll scale reasonably well, high energy gain, and it does have some nano damage. So as a double duty weapon, you'll be able to hit really quickly with it, which means you'll stack the nano quite quickly. So this is, despite not having one of the highest uh, base damages, it is pretty good for a nano build. This guy here has a DLC weapon, so you want to target the right arm. Oop, right arm, there we go. And that is the MG Centurion, which as one-handed weapons go, it's pretty good. So this is what I was talking about by it not having great base damage. That is what you're looking for kind of in base damage. I think this is almost on a par with Warren's Cutter V 2.0. So if you're looking for a good one-handed weapon to use around this point in the game, this is not a bad choice. Looks like he doesn't have any of the pieces we need, so I'll just take out his head. Checking to make sure I don't have any other loot, and time to go meet Jonah. So when you first get in here, you're going to want to go open up the med bay and get the audio log. Studying the nano beast's brain has opened my eyes to an inescapable truth. I always thought it was some sort of mutated animal, but I was wrong. This beautiful creature. And I'm actually going to start holding on to my tech scrap because we're going to need a whole lot of tech scrap to upgrade our gear in just a bit when we're trying to get it up to MK9. So start holding on to your tech scrap. Creature was created from nothing but nanites. It's the world's first nanite life form. But there's something else preying on my mind. Despite its unmistakable origins, the creature shares some DNA. Yeah, Harold in the corner here. I cannot move. My defense routines are all clogged up. The hackers have me right where they want it. I'm a useless metallic vegetable. 
I don't know how much longer I can hold back the Nanite virus corrupting my OS. Poor Harold. He's just trying to do his job. People messing with him. And as you can see, we're back into the Creo Institute of Technology lobby. We have already looted that chest. And there's Brother Eli. Thought you'd seen the last of old Eli, huh? <laughs> yes, again. Dying means nothing. Killing anywhere. You can't hide behind that door anymore. Forever. Soon, every single one of your little secrets shall be mine. So for this version of Brother Eli, we're going to once again want to chop off his right arm, which will give us a piece of the Dark Seeker set. I'm going to stick... Well, actually, I'm going to... Because electricity does stun him, so I'm going to swap over to the Wave of Tomorrow. And I'm going to double check my implants and make sure I don't have anything that I don't need. So if you were farming using the energized material converter for example you want to make sure you take that off because you need your energy gain on this fight and he's going to have two guards roaming around with him this time so it's kind of like the last one except they don't jump out in the middle of the fight so you can actually focus on taking out the two guards first so we'll wait for the one that's behind the statue there to roam back and then we'll go for it So we're going to get him, we'll get the other one, and we're going to try and avoid messing with Eli until we get them all taken out. And that's the second one there, so... Try and keep your health up. R1, R2, R2. Uh, don't die. <laughs> Get the sever if you can. Oh, that's a little tricky. <laughs> uh, I should have really not gone for that. Uh, there we go. Um, so for Eli, you're going to want to go for uh, basically... going to want to go for uh, R on his right arm, R2, R1, R1. Oh, I forgot. Actually, electricity doesn't work here. But R1, R2, or R2, 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 R1, R1 combo does work. And he does get staggered uh, with that. And you can also do the directional blocks if you want. Gets a couple of hits in, be sure to back out, heal up. do it. So we severed the right arm and we should have gotten critical oxygenator which while your health is low you, 
you had better stamina regen, not worth it, and Dark Prophecy Arm Plate. So a Dark Prophecy set, you will not be able to get the rest of that until the end of the game um, and going into New Game Plus, but when you perform finishing sequence, it unleashes elemental forces around you, so good for farming, and it triggers a Nano Affliction on enemies, and um, triggering Nano Affliction restores health. So it's a good farming set. I probably wouldn't use this uh, against bosses, though. Seems like everybody's pretty happy about beating that guy. He's not that bad. He's, he's really not. Time to go talk to Jonah, though. So you would have been better off fighting him with the uh, AAD Type 11 Overseer, though. At least you would have gotten more staggers. Alright, so once again in here, we're going to want to come over and interact with the computers. The spray can is still on cooldown. Consult our Creo slash nanoscience database at your own convenience. Made from a mixture of synthetic and biological compounds, individual nanites are invisible to the naked eye and are not much larger than an erythrocyte. They traverse gaseous and fluid matter or eat their way through solid material with consummate ease. They synthesize input to create a certain output. Input and output are variable in this scenario. Nanites will be instrumental in the future survival of humanity. It is therefore more important than ever to overcome recent problems and regain our trust in this amazing technology. Commonly referred to as a disease, the condition known as DFRAG has turned into the most confounding scientific hurdle in recent memory. Nanomachines seek out human hosts, apparently without rhyme or reason. As soon as a subject is infected, the nanomachines begin to analyze the person's DNA and attempt to fix its flaws. Bit by bit, the human is reconfigured until their vital systems shut down for good. So far, no one has been able to deter the nanites from their mission or better understand the condition without succumbing to defrag themselves. Thank you for using the official CIT archives. Please tell your friends about our service. Welcome back, visitor. Feel free to consult the city database at your own convenience. To help control the spread of nanites, Jericho's mayor invoked emergency powers and ordered the construction of a wall around the containment area. The Great Wall of Jericho has quickly become a source of never-ending controversy. Even the wall's biggest advocates have conceded that its sole use now seems to be to contain infected citizens. The Spark is a nanite-based energy source originally developed to power the entire city of Jericho. Due to its highly volatile nature, the project was mothballed shortly after completion. Over the next several years, it turned into an object of worship for a sect of techno-cultists known as the Children of the Spark. In 2077, the Spark was stolen by a currently unidentified group of individuals. Its current whereabouts is unknown. The World Wide Web has been inaccessible for weeks. Contact with the outside world is extremely limited. Nevertheless, Jericho's government leaders have developed a thorough evacuation plan to save the local populace and slow the spread of defrag. 
Due to logistical issues, the evacuation is on hold until further notice. Thank you for using the official CIT archives. Please tell your friends about our service. saw what you did out there. Harold let me down in my hour of need, but you came through as I always knew you would. It was him, wasn't it? Brother Eli in the flesh. Let's hope he stays down for good this time. The children of the spark have been conducting nanite experiments that may eclipse even my own findings. I surmise we just witnessed the result, and that's not even the worst. Athena has been consumed by the nanite swarm. With everything I've learned, we might be able to pull her out but we're running out of time. I hate to say this, but I need you out there one more time. I'd love to explain in detail, but I don't think you'd quite understand. We need a lot of energy to revert the process. Trust me on this. I know the science behind this whole deal better than I know my own sock drawer. You just worry about the legwork. I'll take care of the rest. I'll need massive amounts of energy to get this right. The only thing powerful enough to make it happen is the goddamn spark itself. Our friend Eli had a lot of followers, you know. You'll find those wretched zealots worshipping the spark in Port Nixon's old power plant. Once there, you'll have to go up their magnetic zip lines if you want to get inside their cathedral. Here, take this gadget. You'll find it invaluable. I used to do business with them back in the day. Matriarch Celeste can be a very convincing woman. In the end, though, our views on nanites differed more than I thought. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Those zealots call it Cathedral of the Spark, but you won't find it if you look for a church. It shouldn't be hard to miss if you keep your eyes open for a pair of eerie-looking cooling towers down in the harbor district. Those zealots, it should... Yes, I did. But now's not the time to talk. Our mission comes first. I hope you understand. I believe, no, I know I can help you. There's only one more thing I need to ascertain. Everything will be revealed in time, my friend. <laughs> Tell me about it. Strange name for an innovative contraction. It was supposed to solve all our energy problems at once. In the end, it proved too unstable. Creo was very happy to wash its hands of that damn piece of junk. Of course, that made it all the more alluring to those fanatics. Goodbye for now. This whole story started with me a long time ago, and I'll make sure it ends with me. All right, now we've got our lift rook. So we can go both ways on the exo lines, which opens up a whole new, multiple new sections of the game to us. So colorful in there. You see, we cannot break this yet. You need a special ability to do it, which we'll get next time we see Jonah. So for now, we're going to come out here. I think there's just a little bit of loot tucked around the corner there. Yep. And that is blocked off, so we're going to need to be able to take down those nano barriers before we can get it. So we'll head out here back into Gideon's Rock. Um, on the other side, nothing over here, so don't worry.
Athena's all grown up now. So you see the um, Kyoko armor wearing enemy is still, nope, is no longer here actually, sorry about that. And I wonder if that's what I had been thinking about before. Uh, I wonder if the Kyoko armor wearing enemy has moved down below. Um, so he did have a weapon, this guy. I believe also you can get the infected Aetirna, I think it is, from this one. Infected Rainfall, rather. Sorry about that. So, Infected Rainfall, uh, high nano damage, one-handed weapons are pretty quick. So, decent enough uh, one-handed nano damage weapon if you wanted to use one. I actually, I want to come back up here really quick and make sure that I'm not leaving out a weapon um, from that guy that we didn't get the sever on. And I believe the Kyoko armor wearing enemy should now be down here on the bridge, if I remember right, or nearby it. Yep, there you go. So if you didn't get the Kyoko nano set, then you can get it from this enemy here. Or Kyoko hacker set, I should say. We already have that full set, so you shouldn't need to worry about it. But if you did miss some pieces, that's where you can farm it. So it's not that they moved it, it's just that enemy moves based on the condition of the environment. Let's see good old Gideon here. Oi, hello again. Haven't I seen you before? Just moved here from Port Nixon. I mean, the world might be going to hell in a handbasket, but at least old Gideon's back where he belongs, eh? And you'll also have an audio log here. Left you a little message just in case. Me and the boys have hit the road. There's nothing left for us now that the creatures kicked the bucket. I'd watch out for those other hunters if I were you, by the way. Those loons are a lost cause. Anyway, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of you. What's the saying again? You always meet twice in life? Oh, and don't even think we forgot about your debts. You owe us big time, bucko. Seems he didn't realize we've already paid him. Now, I would recommend that you create a backup copy of your save at this point if you haven't been doing it all along. Um, look online for guides if you need to know how to back up your save. But I'm going to go ahead and do that now uh, because things can get buggy with the Iron Mouse quest from here and I want to make sure that I'm able to come back to this point if I need to. And after you've done that, we'll go ahead and head out to Cloud9. Now you can fight these guys if you want to. Um, some of them do have bits of the chrysalis, so if you want to farm these guys for the chrysalis set, you can. Oh, 
always good to get the revenge enemies. And we do not have... And I'm just going to take out his right leg. So no chrysalis from him. Nano beast over here. Make sure it doesn't get you. Excuse me, sir. It's me, Harold. I have received the most distressing distress call. A former Creo engineer has run ashore in Fort Nixon. Apparently, there has been some sort of robotic revolt on her ship. She needs someone with Creo's top clearance level. The very same access codes Master Gutenberg transferred to you some time ago. You would have to interrupt your travels in Jericho City for a bit. But I think this little detour might be worth your while. So that's the notification from Harold for the Kraken DLC. So we now have access to the Kraken DLC. But we're going to do some other stuff first. now have access to fast travel and we can also talk to Harold. System startup complete. It's great to see you again, friend. Good news. I'm still alive. I've been able to fight the corruption of my system with varying degrees of success. In a word, yes, the Oxbridge Dictionary of Foolish Language characterizes this kind of event succinctly as apocalyptic. Do you require another mission briefing, friend? How adorably predictable. An aircraft carrier ran ashore at Fort Nixon. Apparently it poses a great risk to Jericho City and an even greater risk to foolish adventurers. <laughs> Good to know. Good luck out there, friend. Initiating recovery mode. It's a little bit of extra dialogue from Harold. You aren't seriously going for a straight up. Hey, you. Shit. Your pop pop always warned me. If we keep playing God, judgment day will come. Hmm? What? Did you see what happened outside? We need to team up. Do something big. Something shocking. Something that matters. Because it's the right thing to do. The world is falling into utter chaos, and nobody's doing a damn thing, except for you. I've heard the stories, all of them. And I love a good story. Everyone in Jericho is talking about you. Some call you a hero. Others think you're a mass-murdering lunatic. Heck, you're probably both. But at least you stand up for those children of the spark. At least you do something. I admire that. It's what I... what Iron Mouse always tried to do. This town needs a symbol now. Someone who stands up for what's right. Well, duh. Of course. Countless times. Uh, just to be sure, uh, film props count, don't they? I had 20 weeks of stunt boot camp for Iron Mouse versus Carbon Cap. Oh, good. You're on your way to the Cathedral of the Spark, aren't you? Suits me just fine. Those crazy cultists won't even see me coming. And I mean that, literally. I'll sneak in like a shadow. And together we'll mop the floor with those miscreants. Huh. <laughs> miscreants. That's a good word. 
I should use it more often. Iron Mouse has a lot of iconic lines these days. After all, I have the best writers in the biz. My favorite is Tough as Iron, Quiet as a Mouse. I wrote that one myself. Normally, I'd charge a high fee for this interview, but uh, I'll make an exception for a super fan like yourself. It'll be like when Iron Mouse joined the Just Mice League. Meet me at the Cathedral. We'll join forces and clean up Jericho's scum with clenched fists. Here I come to save the night. Yeah, the boss ain't coming back anytime soon. He's probably halfway to New York by now. What do you want to buy? And we now have the leg piece for the Angel 6 leg or armor set. So we could technically use it now with the um, Stranger's face mask. But we'll get the final piece, the head piece, um, for one of the other merchants a little bit later. This is it! The Revenge of the Machines! Don't get discouraged. That dude's still dancing. Oh, hello. Have we met? Since that damn thing in the sky exploded, things in Jericho City have gone from bad to worse. Help? Yeah, there's none on the way. We're screwed six ways till Sunday. Yeah, tell me about it. An elderly couple hired me to escort them through the city, but we were ambushed and my guys came down with radiation poisoning. I heard there were a lot of mercs at this party, so I thought I might be able to hire some tough guys to help me out. Yeah, fat chance of that. All the hunters are either drunk out of their skulls or dead. And that Welsh chick? Don't even get me started. Real pain in the butt. I was supposed to escort that couple to Gateway Bravo. They ran like their lives depended on it when we came across some scavengers outside that Russian quacks clinic. Guess what? Their lives did depend on it. I'll never forgive myself for what those scavengers did to my team. Thank God. I don't know what I would have done without you. My clients have been incommunicado for hours now. In their last message, they kept rambling on about a zebra. Can you imagine? They must have lost their damn minds. They are out there in the city center. God knows what living hell they are going through right now. So that's my pitch. Everyone knows you, if not by name, at least by reputation. Maybe you can do what I can't. Go back into the city and keep your eyes peeled for two elderly people and a zebra, I guess. No idea what to make of that little tidbit. Nothing good about it, sadly. Bye. Thanks for helping us patch things up. My sister and I are talking again. Well, she's an idiot, but she's my idiot, you know? That's why family's so important. You always know there's someone even dumber than yourself. OMG, my brother and I were almost like BFFs again. Now that the global financial markets have crashed, money's worthless anyway. It's really funny if you think about it. We've got nothing now, just each other. Hilarious, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm full. That shit gets me going hardcore. Party time! What the hell's going on? Did someone explode a nuke? What the hell's going on? Did someone explode a nuke? Good old bug face, we helped him out. Now we could go out here, but before we do that, I'm gonna hop up here and show you where the fast travel point is for Cloud9. So you can come back here after you open up some of the other destinations. It's also a reasonably good spot to plant your banner because most people can't get up here. And then we'll head outside.
Now we've got a few shortcuts to open up, including this one over here. This dude's still watching the door. Is still upstairs, partying like there's no tomorrow. Good old Mason, reliable in the face of danger. Need to talk to the mysterious stranger again. Get out of here at once. I'm grateful, yuppie. I built this ruddy place with my own hands. Now I can't even sleep in the foyer. Eh? Go back to Port Nixon and fry your brain with a blue sparkle or whatever it is you do. Nobody's gonna take pity on you at Cloud Nine. We got a party to run. None of these guys, I think, um, drop any loot. The tier four guys. So don't worry about it if you take them out too quickly. There is a vending machine back here, but we're not going to be able to use it yet. So I have this guy over here. Now, I believe this one can drop a new weapon. Nope. Okay, it's not that one. As we go further in, one of them is going to drop it. Oops, I forgot. Yeah, we need to unlock that. Huh. Going up this way. go down here you're gonna try and get uh, yeah, it looks like we want to get the right arm from this guy not sure where the loot went there That's unfortunate. Don't kill him in the wall, apparently. Some Omni cells back here you can pick up. Hmm, that's weird. Ah, there it is. Drop through the floor. Okay, so that gets you the uh, infected plasma auger, so you want to make sure you pick that up. There's also a little bit of loot back here. Defrag Scorcher, there we go. So Defrag Scorcher is single rig, but it does fire damage in a decent amount. Still though, fire damage on single rig probably wouldn't go there. Um, the Infected Plasma Auger does have very high uh, damage scaling, so I think it's just maybe one point behind the EAD Type 11 Overseer. 
and it actually has better energy gain. Um, so it's a pretty good, if you want to use a single rigged weapon, it's a pretty good weapon to be using if you want to upgrade it. I'm going to grab all of the um, Omni cells here, even though we've got more than we can ever use. And it looks like uh, body, right leg, head. Alright, I'm just going to go for the easy kill. can leave these here if you want, but it's a bit dangerous because the uh, Molotov cocktails can actually cause those to explode. So when you come back in, in here or through here uh, later on, if they're still on the ground, then you can, you're risking death. come up here. Um, there's a little bit of loot behind the crate there. If it'll let me pick it up. And we'll go uh, up the stairs there. And there's also, once you get up here, a couple of guys outside. So you'll be you want to be a little bit careful here. Um, we're going to jump, jump across and take them out. And I actually want to see for the chrysalis set what I still need yet. So chrysalis, I just need the body. So keep an eye out for the body. No body on e either of these. So we'll just run across, um, take them out on their heads because we don't want to deal with too many of them. And you can run back down and gra grab the loot if you want. So walk across that and we're going to open up this so this becomes a shortcut back to the uh, cloud nine and we also get the um, engine from hell so be sure to sever the right arm another dlc weapon here engine from hell this one it just strikes me as being really mediocre. This one has 276 uh, base DPS. This has 244. Don't get it. They're both slow weapons. Not sure why. And per the tag here, there is a little bit of loot to our right, so we're going to want to grab that. And if we clear out the boxes here, it finally opens up this shortcut. So now we can go back this way and we don't have to fight through uh, that courtyard down below if we don't want to. I do believe there was no other loot down here, but let me just check just to make sure. the mag lift. And a little bit later, um, we're actually going to be able to go through a shortcut right there. So this door will open up a little bit later. So that makes it more convenient to get back into town too. Again, we're keeping an eye out for bodies. Um, these guys don't really have anything for you. If you're running low on battery and um, energy and metabolic injection charges, then just go ahead and take those out without the executes. And per these tags here, there's a little bit of loot here, so we want to say thank you. Thanks, guys. Now, be careful with that guy who's up there. Want to 
come down here and get him. And that was weird. For some reason, it didn't let me do the uh, charge attack. Wow, that fight was all messed up. Let's head nobody. So you remember there used to be some loot in a crate up here. This is where we fought the, the two urban armor set guys. So they're no longer here and they've been replaced with this riffraff. Finally, we got about a piece. So we're going to try and make sure we get the body on this one. See, brother Eli sounded like such a helpful kid, and so did Truman um, when they were younger. Who knew what a menace he would turn into? So you can get that. You can just jump back across. Um, you want to be quick so that you don't get the nano nanite effect. So that'll get you that loot. And our good old doctor is still here. So we can come say hi. Good to hear. How can I patch you up? Well, it's a pretty cynical way to see it, Fedorush. You can't make an omelet without breaking some spines, da? All is good. Do not worry about me. A true genius is never appreciated in its height. Of course, Tovarush. Your health is my business, eh? Say, ah. Uh, Huh. Your nanite readings are strange, very disturbing, but nothing to worry about. Probably, you're stronger than entire Russian weightlifting team. You can pass through that scanner gate, no worries. Does Vidanya, Tavarish? Good to know we're a little bit stronger now, and he approves of our. Uh, I can't remember unwussyfightedness or something. What he said the uh, first episode. Now for these two guys here. Um, they're no joke and so we've cleared out some areas that we can fight over there we're going to try and get them singly if we can't uh, 
you know, this guy does drop MK8 uh, crafting components, so great if you can get a sever, but he's one of the urban armor set wearing guys. This guy over here is the MG Cerberus set wearing guy, so we want to get his body or his arm or his leg if we can. Or, sorry, not his arm because we already have the arm, the head, the body, or the leg. So I'm going to try and get that one first. We're probably going to get attacked by both of them. So just take this one out really quick. If you get a sever, cool. If not, don't worry about it. You can always come back and farm more, and that's not the guy we want to farm anyway. So I'm going to go for the body now. Use your target, try and get some distance because you're probably standing at a bad camera angle. There we go. So there's the MG Cerberus body gear. We'll get the other two pieces as we fight our way through. Um, before we go through the scanner gate that direction, um, there is another guy over here that we can take out. Don't think he drops anything special. We'll see. Even though we chopped his arm, somehow we got the body armature from him, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now, there is another guy over here, which has the MG Cerberus armor set as well, so the head's a bit rare, so I'm going to go for the head. Bait the attack, go for the shield break, and we now have the MG Cerberus armor piece. Now that guy back there can be a little bit tricky and we want to make sure we got to get him by himself. So there's a guy over here to the left, we'll take him out first as he shoots at us, a little menace. Take that. And there's also a guy back here who will shoot at us, friendly as he is. And we want to kind of drag him where we can get him. Oh, of course he'd run out here. Alright, now we've got this guy solo. You only get one shot at this. So you want to sever the right arm. And he's MK9, you can see. He doesn't respond, so you gotta make sure that you get this. And that will give you the infected type 4 authority. So that's a nanite version of the this one down, how far down is it now? So way down here, that one. AID type 4, so it's the infected version of that, which means it does nanite damage. It's a hammer, um, so it's slow, so I probably wouldn't use that one. Looks good now because we haven't upgraded these ones yet, um, damage-wise, but uh, as you'll see, it actually kind of falls behind pretty quickly. So nanite with slow weapons is really not the way to go. Okay, so we got all the loot in this area. Um, we're going to come through here, hang right. There's more loot in here. Let me tag it. Come on. No? There you go. And we already have that in plans, apparently, so all it just gave us was some upgrade materials. And you'll remember um, that we had opened up the shortcut because we went to AID command first. So we can actually get up here, bypass the uh, Del Delver Echo, 
Gamma, I believe, is this one. So there will be a boss fight in there with the two people that we can rescue. Um, so we can actually bypass all of that, and we can go up here and uh, get all the way to Seaside Court if we wanted to. So that's an optional boss. Um, but I'm going to come over here, get the rest of the MG Cerberus set, and um, get down to speak with Warren. We'll get the Repulsor Coil, uh, which will send him on his way, um, and then we'll proceed to the Seaside Court from the back entrance. Also show you some farming spots um, and some gear that you can get and then I'll probably close this episode off there. It's kind of fun to drag those guys out there. Uh, you do have a nanite beast up there hanging out on the wall. Uh, be careful of that one. I'm going to try and get him to aggro without aggroing those two guys. Unfortunately, I got one. Man, you just don't want to give up. So this is the last MG Cerberus armor piece that we need, so go for the leg. If you can get it, give me the leg. There we go. So that should be all four pieces for the MG Cerberus armor set. There we go. Arm, body, head, leg. We are all set best armor set in the game, we've now got it. We just need to upgrade it. Gonna take out this guy for his weapon, why not? Or just take him out, period. Um, since we have the MG Cerberus set, we don't really need to kill these guys, but I'll do it anyway. hide over here just sort of like with the other guys that we were farming earlier on in the game then uh, he should creep around the corner like that and then you can go ahead and get him this guy also drops MG Cerberus set pieces so we could go for him if we wanted to if we didn't have a set piece, we could get it off of him. And this is a decent spot to plant your banner now, um, if you haven't got a banner out already. And this is a zip line or the exo line, which you can now use to get all the way back over the top of the Delver, Delva, Delver Echo Gamma fight. And we can also open up a quick shortcut back, um, and then this one drops you back over to that shortcut. So we could have come this way around as well. And this will open up a shortcut back all the way over to Cloud Nine. get an audio log here to guinea pigs. Redneck 22. I repeat, this is Redneck 22. I'm on the trail of a 
That unlocks this shortcut, which we weren't able to use before. Once again, just keep banking your tech scrap. You're going to need a ton of it. Um, we can try and construct and upgrade the MG Cerberus set now, so we might as well do that. See how far we can get it, and we might be able to equip it. If we can get it high enough to compete with what we're wearing already. So that is the MG Cerberus Arms. So I'll do that one. So both of those have been upgraded. Uh, we don't want the Zola, we do want the head here. That one went pretty well. MG Cerberus legs. We're going to be a little bit low on that. Still, it does have MK6, which is better, I think, than what we're wearing. So that's an upgrade across the board. So it looks like we'll probably be able to wear this. And this one here, upgrade that all the way. So we're at MK7 now for all of that, and we'll go ahead and equip it. Looking much better. That set looks very good, and we are now wearing the best armor set in the game. Still got some upgrading to do. This is only MK6, but we've got MK7 for all of these pieces. So we're making good progress. Now we're going to go back into the underground and find Warren. First, I'm going to make one detour. So you remember how we opened up that shortcut to the underground in one of the earlier episodes uh, when we were doing AID command? Well, it is still open and we can use this to get all the way back to AID command. So I'm going to go ahead and run back up here, and this will let us open up the um, fast travel so that we can get to uh, Gateway Bravo right away. see now uh, most of AID command is actually blocked off. We can't actually get in anywhere in here. That's been gated off. There's a barrier here that we can't get through. Right, so this place is not all that useful to us, but we can exit out and get up to CIT command, or AID command. Uh, Camp Gateway Bravo. 
get it one of these times. And if you go up here too, it's all blocked off by nanite stuff. Um, we've lost the elevator, so we can't get there. And then this is all just nanite sludge. Oh, the devastation. Now you can still use this shortcut. Um, these guys have chrysalis body parts, so if you wanted to get chrysalis farming, you can do it here. Um, this guy has the same uh, infected split cleaver as the other guy did. They're not really all that difficult at this point. Just keep an eye on your health. And so this will drop you back out um, on top of Cloud 9 again. So the robot is gone, but you do have a little skittering spider bot. And then all of these guys have their um, sort of chrysalis armor farming opportunities. He's out there trying to bait me into the other ones. So this shortcut is still here, no loot or anything that we can get, um, but it does get you back to Cloud9 if you wanted to get back there um, this way. Nothing special really though. But if we go up here, there's an even faster pathway back, which is the fast travel point. So we'll go and unlock that, and then run back in and talk to Warren. Oops, we didn't want to go in there. It's a bad habit, always clicking the glowy button. We want to go up instead. I don't believe there's any loot or anything over here, um, but there is a barrier that we can't break down yet. We will be able to break that later, though. What's going on here? Should have listened to that crazy sign waver. <laughs> so everybody's been taken out. This place is a mess. Not floating or anything, but I told you so. <laughs> he called it. Hey, hey, you there. I know you were sniggering behind my back, pointing your finger at me. 
Well, now what? How about them apples? <laughs> Shit's really hit the fan now, hasn't it? I know it's looking dire as hell, but nobody in this camp will suffer as long as Ben Burke is on the job. Ben's a good dude. Take care, okay? Fall over. We're done for. And Austin over here, he's dead. <laughs> this guy's happy, Maverick. And Ermax Zaybot is uh, got sad face. I'm gonna go with sad face. I agree with you. Even though Austin did seem kind of sketchy, but you know. Good job out there. Ever since I cured those three feather brains, I get more patience than you can shake a stick at. Huh. Sure. Just don't forget to buy something, all right? All right, so now we can buy the AID Centauri headgear, uh, the leg gear, and the body. We already had the arm from before. We already have the uh, balaclava. But we can also get General's ACU for free and the INF Labs Vechni. Because he's in Cloud Our Nine. Boss hasn't come back yet. I'm starting to get worried. Go to Cloud Nine, you'll find Screw him. This. We should have left when there was still time. Yeah, you probably should have. Um, now we're gonna get back down to the underground, so you can just drop down through here, and we'll get back to the uh, shortcut. Oh, but I didn't use them. The whole point of coming back here was to get the fast travel point, and we didn't unlock it. And actually, uh, you know what? We're going to use the fast go to Cloud9, and then um, take the zip line over to the other entrance to the um, underground. think that's less zoning overall. So you can travel to the park from here now. There's our banner. Actually, you know what, since it's just one more thing that we won't have to worry about, um, I'm going to take out the Delver Echo Gamma really quick and complete that quest too. Why not? Just so that we don't potentially miss it. I usually do it right about now. Nope, not that lift. So we'll go over to the mag lift over here. Go use the med bay, take out Delver Echo uh, Gamma. Then we'll go talk to Warren um, after we turn in the quest, and we'll be in pretty good shape. Alright, so I do want to use the med bay. That. So we don't have to come all the way from Cloud Nine. Got a little bit of overlapping going on here, so apologies for that. I could have just taken this out earlier, but shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then we're going to want to come.
come over to this one and go back down to the entrance. So you can see the zebra down below me there. That's what Kate, uh, or not Kate, uh, the officer was, was talking about. When you come out here, uh, you'll hear some banging. coming over there very ominous he's gonna zoom out and we want to go break the right arm break the left arm just do charge attacks break the right leg left leg, break the head, break the body, oh we can. So same thing as the other del Delver, we're just going to go for the, head, for the head from now on. Be careful of the Nanite Swarm stuff, when he gets his arms back, you can go ahead and do the uh, block attacks and then just uh, break his arms. for the head or one or two or, or two or one or one and just keep trying to slam him. He doesn't have a whole lot of health and when you win you get the uh, deflection hardener which uh, when an enemy attack is successfully directionally blocked defenses increase for a short time. Now these guys will come out of here Talk to her first so you can hear what she says. Without you, we'd be dead. Then talk to him. Oh God, you saved us. I thought we were goners, sure. You can say you're welcome. You could at least show some gratitude or what are you doing here. If you choose what are you doing here, you get the other two dialogue choices. I think if you say you're welcome, you miss out on the rest of the dialogue. We escaped that beast by the skin of our teeth. I wish that goddamn search and rescue officer had even half your guts. First she abandoned her team, then she abandoned us. We were outmanned and outgunned. We ran like hell, hoping to make it out alive. Deep down, I know she couldn't have helped, all things considered. Still, I would have appreciated her trying a bit harder. Or at all. That goddamn search and rescue officer had even half your guts. First she abandoned her team, then she abandoned us. We were outmanned and outgunned. We ran like hell, hoping to make it out alive. Deep down, I know she couldn't have helped, all things considered. Still, I would have appreciated her trying a bit harder. Or at all. Hmm? And you have my sincere gratitude. I wish that goddamn search and rescue officer had even half your guts. First she abandoned her team, then she abandoned us. We were outmanned and outgunned. We ran like hell, hoping to make it out alive. Deep down, I know she couldn't have helped, all things considered. Still, I would have appreciated her trying a bit harder. Or at all. There you go, you get all of them. And a little bit of loot over here. Um... We could continue on to um, Seaside Court area, but we want to talk to Warren before we do that. Then I'm going to go turn. All right, we'll go and turn in that quest really quickly. I'll take you down to the underground and we'll talk to Warren um, and get the repeller coil and I'll show you uh, how to farm and then I'll set you loose on the farming. And we'll end the episode here with that. So first over to Cloud9.
will explode a nuke. You guys are looking for you, Buckface. What the hell's going on? Did someone explode a nuke? Did you make any progress with finding those four? So the first thing you're going to need to say is, I rescued them. You did? Then they're alive? Oh, thank heavens! Oh, phew. That's a massive weight off my shoulders. And then you say, I know your dirty secret, you abandoned them. I... what? I would never! My word is my bond! But... how did you know? Oh, you won't tell anyone, will you? And then you say, I'll keep it to myself for a price. Oh, I understand. Then take this. It's the most valuable thing I own. But keep your mouth shut. That gives you the SNR Kingfisher, um, which is one of the highest damage staffs, stabs in the game. So you can actually see um, it's just slightly behind the MG Centurion. So there's Gone Missing Finished. We'll come back out here. Back downstairs, back over to the underground entrance. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Sorry. Up here. Now you want to take a right, and you'll remember that there was an exo line that we couldn't use previously. So if you go up to the top of that, there's going to be a new med bay that we can access. And an audio log. How did you two feel fail? Our future. Mm -hmm. Before it began. Jeans. Dr. Barrett's dream. So you want to make sure you save here, and you're going to keep holding on to your tech scrap because we do have a lot of upgrading to do yet, and it's very expensive to do it. And in fact, one of the things that I'm going to do in here now, um, now that we can, is I'm going to swap out this physical aggression stabilizer for the energized material converter because we're about to fight the stuff, fight the stuff that. Um, drops the, and actually we're going to have to drop that one too in order to be able to use it, drops the um, MK9 upgrade components, so we want to make sure we're ready to get those. Got the lithium polymer cells. I'm not going to worry about equipping that yet. I'm going to upgrade all my gear and everything first, but that is something that I'm going to slot eventually. Now, for this guy, um, electricity does work to stun, so I'm going to swap back over to my wave of tomorrow. But if I do that, or I want to anyway, but if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to generate enough energy to get the severs. 
Um, so I'm going to stick with the AID type 11 overseer for now. Um, if you really want to farm with electricity, uh, then you can use the Zarathustra. But the stagger on the AID type 11 overseer should be good enough. So sneak up behind him. Um, he's going to, this is one of the scientists. He's going to metamorphosize. So you go for the uh, arm there first. If he hits you, do try and get back off and go for the execute. There we go. So if he manages to hit you, oh, that gives you the living jawbone too. Pretty good uh, nano damage weapon, heavy duty. You want to make sure you keep your health up at all times because those guys can take you out in one hit. There's another audio log here. Hello, I'm Kyle Baxter. You may know me from such movies as Iron Mouse, Iron Mouse 2, or maybe even my most recent hit, Iron Mouse 8. Did you know that blue sparkle addiction is becoming a national concern? This drug is an epidemic sweeping across the country. Blue sparkle has already ruined countless lives and deeply affects our ability. Please fight back by joining the Creo Anti Drug Foundation to say get blue sparkle off the streets. And always remember, hug. So now we're getting the Tungsten Alloy MK9, as well as the um, second scientist log. So that's scientist number two for the professor's quest. And I'm actually going to hop over here and open up this door. So we'll get full access to the underground if we do this. There's also some loot down here that we want to get. And an audio log. Seems nanites are even more adaptable than I ever thought. They are beautiful creatures. Sometimes I don't feel worthy enough to be around. But Dr. Barrett is the only one who understands. He will lead us into the future. The others, they'll see. They, they got cracked. You got a guy who's already enraged here. He also drops a weapon, so we're going to try and get his weapon if we can. Hmm, he didn't drop it. Maybe it was this guy. There we go. Infected Slash Brand. So the Infected Slash Brand, nano damage, double duty weapon, high energy gain, not horrible. Um, a bit behind the Kingfisher in terms of damage overall um, for base DPS, but add in the nano damage and you're a little bit ahead of it. And that also gives us Warren's hideout keycard. So we can go down and say hello to Warren. Is. Glad to see you made it. Just after I left AID command, everything went to hell. I was sure your luck had finally run out. I have to leave the city immediately. The world needs to know what these guys did. Looks like the explosion at the AID base unleashed a storm of nanites. They're everywhere. They're transforming matter all the time, and there's no off switch. Just how Dr. Barrett built it. The 
somehow get the feeling they communicate with me, with each other, with, with someone or something. Every wall is a door, my friend. During my underground adventures, I found out how to reactivate the subway train at Capitol Station. The whole tunnel is filled with nanite structures. I'll have to blast through them, and to do so, I need one of those anti-nanite repellent units. If I can get a repeller coil, we'll have a train to get us out of this godforsaken city. Well, I saw some guys dragging repeller equipment into the prison we escaped from a while back. But I still need to work on the override codes to get the train running again. You'll save me a lot of time if you keep an eye out for a repeller coil in the meantime. We have to succeed. The world must know. Look around for a repeller coil. Maybe they have one in the high security prison. In the meantime, I'll hack the train. Looks like it's all coming to a head. That key card opens up this area down here, and we're going to do a couple of things before we go into the prison ward. We did it! We escaped this goddamn clink! But what about the warden? What about the warden? He's never going to find us down here! Yeah. Free at last. Yeah. Free at last. Free for what? We're trapped in Jericho. The auto-healing dynamo is phenomenal. So that's one of the best... Uh, implants in the game so I do want to slot that as quickly as I can and I will probably swap that out in replace of this one but I'm still a little bit short of the points that I need so I will do ancillary core drop that one out and then I'll be able to equip the auto healing dynamo so those two combined are really good Every time we get a battery topped up now, we're going to get 40 health back, and it increases our energy gain. So very helpful, particularly when we're farming with that. And we're going to also want to get the um, energy gain back up on this. So as soon as we can get another slot in, um, so when we upgrade a little bit more, we'll be able to uh, have the points to drop this and put that in. Um, or we can put it in that slot, but we're going to want to add that back in along with the uh, lithium polymer cells. The world's going to hell. There is no escape. And the reason why we want to come back here is because we've got another one of the scientists back in this area. So we're going to kill him. We're also going to, you're going to want to wait for this roamer to come out. We'll just take him out quietly. And this guy has the spark galvanizer set. Um, I'm going to take out his right arm for the drone module um, and the arm gear. You want to farm him for the full set, though. So we will. He's one of the farming targets, along with the scientists who also respond. Oh man, I'm not going to get it. It's not even trying to attack me now. Ah, I still got it. Cool. It was a weird bug. So there's the spark and lightener, electro beam. And the spark galvanizer's arm gear. Now the spark galvanizer's arm gear is my second favorite set, and it is fantastic for killing enemies that are uh, vulnerable to electricity damage. So we're going to want to farm that full set and upgrade it to MK9, along with the MG Cerberus. So you got a lot of farming to do down here. Grab the loot back here. 
audio log here. I'm going to let him come over here so I don't knock him off the ledge. That gets us the third anti-nano prototype. And we also have that battery there. And we've got this chest, if you remember, way back from the first episode. Good looking out, people. You got a chest right here. That gives you the drone kill battery converter. So if you kill an enemy with your drone, it gives you 100 energy restored. So you combine that with the ones that uh, give you um, Omni cells back every time you charge a battery. And you can see how you can get almost in limited ammo. Grab this audio log here too. It's Barrett's Legacy 3. We found a way to merge man and machine in glorious unity at last. It took me a long time to get to this result, but now I can see clearly. What have I done? What good have I Wasn't me. This was Barrett's plan. He wanted this. He asked for it. I only did what I was told. I, I have to change my ways. I can see everything. I long enough to pay for my sins. I will hunt them down. The emergency reserve injection is kind of handy if you're having trouble getting the heels off. As long as you've got batteries, uh, then it'll restore your health whenever you get low if it would have killed you now let's go ahead and turn in the quest um, for the good professor And the way we get back down to him is to jump down here. Run across over to that one. Whoops, not that one. Run across over to this one. Say hello. You doing well, fellow survivor? <laughs> no, it's, it's just a couple of old science logs. <laughs> you can go one more. Then he can say, fine by me. Um, if you go, you were up to no good, then he might back. aggro. Now, you do, conveniently enough, have a scanner gate right over here. So you just run to the scanner gate, run back, and give it to him. 
nano absorber X is pretty good, but you can find another one later at the Great Wall, so don't worry about it. <laughs> How's it going, fellow survivors? <laughs> this is a breakthrough. It works. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> With this, I'll even be able to hold back my own nanite infection. <laughs> oh, right. I never mentioned it, did I? I wasn't quite forthright. been able to fight the disease, but time is running out. My leg is it's almost gone. <laughs> That's why I came down here. But now with this implant, I have a chance. This won't cure my infection, but it will contain it at least for a while. So if you say hand it over now, these leads to a fight. You want to say use it save yourself well merciful lord i am so relieved <sighs> thank you so much fellow survivors this feels like a new lease of life makes me realize how much i'm wasting my time hunting boogeyman in the sewers i'll have to face the light of day again i can only help people if i return to the outside world <laughs> That gives you the corroded butterfly. Uh, very fast attacking, twin rigged, poison damage with very high poison stacking. So, uh, if you wanted to do a poison build, this is not a bad weapon to, to use. Um, it doesn't scale that high with the damage, but yeah, if you want to stack poison, that's about the best way to do it right there. Um, and I didn't want to go up this one wanted to go through the doors. See the doors are over there. And so now for the log, all we've got is the incredible iron mouse and the witness quests. We've done all of the other quests. And we've also got the Kraken DLC, but we're gonna hold that off, hold off on that until we make sure that the Iron Mouse quest is working. want to go down here, back over by Warren's hideout, and we'll get the repeller coil. Now you can slip out of that entrance and it makes it a little easier to get to Seaside Court, but we're not going to do that quite yet. Remember, these guys, um, when you open this door, you're going to have two of the JCPD guys out there. Um, they're easier now, so don't sweat it too much, but you can just run by them. Alright, so those are still MK3, so you could, you could overpower them easily. And all we're going to want to do is go to the med bay here. Keep banking your scrap, don't use it. Have a nice day, officer. We'll come talk to these guys. Stay in our shelter. You're one of us. We'll outlive them all. You'll see. This is our last refuge. The nanites are everywhere. Welcome to our sanctuary, fellow outcast. Nobody will hurt you here. See that repeller up there? We found it, 
reassembled it, made it stronger than ever. It's just me and the boys here. Why should we leave? This prison is the only home we know. The nanites are powerless against our tech. Join us. There's more than enough room. Building a future. The cops left this repeller when they ran away with their tails between their legs. But their loss is our gain. This thing's worth a mint, and we guard it with our lives. It's hanging right above us, friend. Range isn't huge, but it'll do the trick. As long as you stay in here, you can forget about those nanites. Maintenance is a bit of a hassle, though. Some moron thought it was a bright idea to hide the control switch upstairs. Oh well, it's not like we're gonna release that repeller coil anytime soon, huh? <laughs> so you can go upstairs and release the repeller coil manually, which will get all of these kill guys killed by the um, nanite beasts. But you try and warn them. lurking close by you know you wouldn't be foolish enough to fight another one of those critters would you and you say seriously I'm taking Bullshit. the repeller Shit. we offered you shelter we offered you friendship is this how you choose to repay us and you have the choice of then you'll have to die or sorry what it was I thinking something you would have come to regret we'll do that and change my mind prepare to die That can be arranged. Now you go up and you'll take the repeller coil. There's no way to save those guys. Either you kill them with the nanite beasts or you kill them um, directly. And if you kill them just by uh, hitting this button first, then letting the nano beasts take them out. For some reason, it bugs out the quest. Or it used to. I don't know if they fixed it yet or not, but I think the only way to progress the quest is to do what we just did, which is sad. I mean, seems like you'd be able to give them a chance to, to run and say, you know, look, I'm going to go upstairs and, and take it anyway, but nope, no such luck. Run back out into the underground. And I'll leave you off with farming instructions there. So when you come out here, what I recommend you do is that you go over, um, take out the cathedral enemies here, the um, children of the spark. You would kill this guy too. can wait for that roller, but it's not really necessary. So you want to get the other um, components from this guy, so we still need leg, head, and body. So go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, come on. Give me the sever. There we 
go. So we got leg and arm. Um, we need head and body yet, so you can just go in and out of that door. And since you're here anyway, and you've got one of the scientists here that you can farm, make sure you've got your um, farming, your crafting materials uh, increase uh, through executions. Make sure you have that one equipped. And you'll go ahead and take out the scientist while you're farming that guy to get the head and the body. After you finish these guys, and get the spark galvanizer set then you'll want to go all the way back up to the top med bay of the underground and um, just go from there and take out the first two scientists so the one that's uh, immediately down on the second platform and um, sort of across the way through the door um, so just farm those two until you have all the mats that you need to upgrade whatever weapons you want uh, your MG Cerberus armor set all the way up to MK9 and your Spark Galvanizer set all the way to MK9. So I'm going to stop this episode here. It's actually gotten kind of long, um, so we'll see you back for the next one.